uh, hello everyone uh, this is another Abacus tutorial in this tutorial I want to consider the Rayleigh damping uh, Rayleigh damping mainly has two parameters one is alpha and beta so alpha is uh, called stiffness proportional which is the paint structure stiffness and beta is mass proportional which is the paint the mass mass of a structure when both together combine and it create a called Rayleigh damping here. How we can calculate this alpha or beta? It is a very simple uh, algebraic equation. First you will conduct a model analysis and take the frequency or like one, two. So one, two, at least two modes. Two modes of that structure. First mode, second mode. Then you will create in the first mode you want to consider 5% damping. Then you will put the two alpha uh, omega uh, uh, omega then give the omega and 5% then alpha again uh, in the second you also consider 5% critical dumping and it's equal the omega 2 so then you will calculate alpha beta based on this so that you suppose the structure have 5% dumping and you will do a model analysis so then you give omega and omega 2 omega 1 omega 2 and then you will calculate alpha and beta so now here in my example uh, just I want to give this uh, data to the this structure to this material the structure material and see how this response in case if I go to manually calculate so first I should uh, conduct a model analysis of this cantilever beam uh, so this is an approximate number in case if you have a real project you should calculate based on this equation and so we most of structures still in concrete have uh, two to five percent damping so you can consider five percent damping critical damping now we want to uh, conduct this example in abacus so the example is a cantilever beam and it's an IP section or IP profile. The material we consider elastic. In case you want to see how uh, the response of the nonlinear uh, material uh, will do, so you can consider the plastic as well. <clears throat> and in the end of the cantilever beam, we will apply a concentrated load of one kilonewton. So here is the model which I already created. I want to show you how you can do it. You go to the uh, part. Uh, okay. Uh, in the part, you create a shell element. So here is shell extrude, and the depth is one meter, and the cross section is fifty-five one hundred. Uh, I will put these uh, examples in in the link of description you can download and see how it works uh, so after that uh, ok and go to the property here in the material create a material so first you will see the density and elastic and then go to the damping so how you can go to the damping come to the mechanical here is damping here is damping so give the alpha and beta uh, we use uh, millimeter newton so the elastic is 200 gigapascal and the density is uh, 7.85 uh, new uh, tune per cubic millimeter cubic millimeter now we create two section one is for flange 5.7 and one is for whip 4.1 millimeter and we assigned them to the whip and also flanges go to the assembly just bring it to the assembly there is nothing to do and you also can create a reference point in the middle of this point here and then go to in here create a seat call create a seat take this point and it's called create a seat which is that loading point now we go to step 
in the loading uh, part there is two scenario one is uh, this location is fixed it's a control lever you put a load in the static manner so but, but uh, after you put the load and the load is uh, dropped down or uh, you pick the load again uh, after you picked so there will be some deformation so the deformation we want to measure under the dynamic behavior so we need to one static one dynamic behavior now we create one static with 0 0.1 second and give 100 and 0 0.1 0 0.1 so initial and man minimum same so it means in in immediately you applied one kilonewton load here so it will exactly push some give some displacement after you drop this it will go vibrate so then you create another one called uh, dynamic implicit so give one second and after you drop the load or uh, grab, pick up the load so we want to until one second measure the vibration of this point now give one second and giving about 10,000 to make much more larger to complete and uh, I create a very small increment 0 0.01 and a minimum here now the step is finished uh, we go to the uh, output now you can select pre-default and uh, then here uh, I want to give this uh, point uh, as a measure point so the displacement I want to measure this the displacement from this point uh, now I give sit and that loading point is here so I give every increment of time give me one even I can go to every x unit of time which is exactly the same in the step I can create this one in the displacement we select vertical because uh, the load is vertical and it will go up and down so select u2 now we go to interaction uh, what we're gonna do is we want to create a, a constraint or coupling uh, that point should be uh, constrained here because the movement in entire of this uh, section is should be same because we apply the load in this point which is e equal uh, the load applied in this area now after you select uh, creating a coupling it's finished we go to the loading and he here is the loading part in the first step we create the load we applied load in this point minus 1000 newton and the second part we it means we deactivate it so there is no load in this area but in a state we have a step which will measure the displacement of that point you should create deactivate and we create a boundary condition uh, here is the boundary condition here and this is called in interface so one boundary condition also we need to give some time uh, uh, more uh, we have some actually some uh, lateral displacement control as well uh, because we, we just want to uh, consider that this one even uh, don't need but in practical usually we have some sort of uh, uh, natural connection because uh, this sort of uh, cantilever beam will do uh, a, a torsional backlink so we want to put, in case we also want to put, to remove and see how it works um, otherwise it will go a little uh, unstable now we go to mesh and we give mesh uh, in the pot here is mesh and the mesh size is 10 millimeter you can give larger or even less give 20 make it faster again yes so mesh is finished and we go back here and so now we want to submit uh, here is the 
it's called wet dumping so this wet dumping i want to submit again uh, it's called a uh, history output is not requested so for the uh, for the one step one is no need because that's static uh, we don't need it's okay Now it's running and I go to monitor it. So the first step is to start and it's uh, load is applied actually. And the second step is uh, now it's starting to uh, measure the displacement. So it will reach to one uh, second. Now the analysis is completed and we can go to the uh, see the result and here is uh, so the load is then the first step is applied and now it's going to vibrate uh, okay now we want to control uh, see uh, the vibration this was the previous one I'm going to create a new one and the loading point is safe as it is uh, here it is so we give actually uh, one second so and uh, this uh, dumping factor will stop the structure before reach to one second so the maximum displacement can see is in uh, uh, zero point in the zero point six uh, so uh, zero point uh, now uh, we can uh, rename it called uh, uh, dumping so it's considered have dumping and the next is uh, just uh, we go back to here in the model and take a copy of the model and we call it model 2 or even you can give the name uh, with uh, uh, Dumping and hand dumping, uh, dumping without dumping. So now here is the material, and I'm going to delete the dumping. So this dumping is deleted, and here the same go to job and delete this one and creating a smooth uh, uh, weight out with dumping. And now, okay, and uh, one more thing, uh, okay, we uh, use that same analysis before in the previous, we found that 0 0.4 second will stop. Now you can uh, do the same. And monitor and uh, here is no, not any uh, Warning, are uh, any error? So it's okay now. We just wait a while to finish. The first step is finished, and the second uh, step, the second step is also begin. Now the second model is also completed. Uh, we can go to result, and this time we can just see as a uh, the first uh, step is applying the load now it will vibrate so the vibration is like this it will continue continue and uh, it will not stop but in the in the virtual we have this but in practical most of the structure and material has and uh, we call inherent dumping so that's because if you have a roller, you can take one side from your hand and then release. After a few moments, it will stop. Now we want to create this one. You can see here is uh, just uh, it's okay. Just want to save it, uh, rename it uh, called. Uh, without uh, 
without dumping uh, now we can compare together and see it's totally different but uh, in the in the earlier I said when when you uh, didn't constrain the one side so uh, it will have some uh, sort of what we call the uh, air fraction or uh, some sort of um, instability so that caused to stop the vertical deformation but in the one second still it's not uh, stopped so still the vibration is continued after this point and the vibration is very long or the amplitude is very high so this is the uh, Rylock damping effects in the structure and if you have any problem or any question please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you see you next time